We are. What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the Frigo F3 Pro. Um, and we're also gonna be comparing it to the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Let me pull that out first, actually, so you guys can see this thing. And Dee Dee's behind the camera, so everybody say hi. Hey guys. Oh. Kicks in. Who's all in the chat? Do you see anybody in the chat yet? Let's see. So what we got in the box is gonna be a dual motor, dual battery bike, just like this bike right here, the Aero Rider Grizzly, and it also has dual 1000 watt motors. Um, and it's about a thousand dollars cheaper. I think this is about, actually no, this is $24.99 and the Grizzly is $23.99 right now. But uh, yeah, who's, who's on the chat? You see anybody in there? You guys feel free to join the live chat. Um, write any questions you have about the bikes. I hope I have the live chat open. Never mind, sure I Shredhead. I see, what's up? Shredhead member, never mind. Aloha from Hawaii. What's up, Hawaii? Hell yeah. Uh, Shredhead members, uh, what's up to all the Shredhead members that are in here? If you guys do want to join the Shredhead members, uh, I think I've got a link down below. It's like five bucks a month. You get early release videos. You get a little green uh, name next to your head. And I think you get a little shred head logo right there on the side there. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now, now I'm seeing the chat. Okay. It's uh, Laurie Edwards. Hi from Brooklyn, New York. What's up, Brooklyn? Ben Anderson. What's up? Emilio Sequero. Hey, Shreddy. What's up, everybody? King Louie. What's up, Shreddy? What's going on? All right. Um, well, actually, before we get started, this video is actually sponsored by Manscaped. So I'm going to be unboxing this really quick. So if you guys do want to support the channel, there is a link down below for Manscaped. You use code Shreddy, you get 20% off your order. I don't know if you can get down on this, but this is a lawnmower 4.0. Um, we're going to just lawnmower? unbox it really quick. <laughs> the, lawnmower. That's for, the lawnmower. That's for down for? there. I think like when, when um, if, it, if it's getting a little too, um, <laughs> too bushy down there and riding an e-bikes, so you start getting a little uh, shape down there. I don't know if this is like too, too much information, but yeah, make sure you grab your little Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 and uh, get that all cleaned up for yourself. So is let's that, open this thing up. Is that for up. like checking your nuts on the bike? That's for checking your, yeah, your nuts and uh, not the bike nuts, actually. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right, let's open this They thing. also send him boxers. Yeah, I'm not going to be uh, demoing the boxers <laughs> anytime soon. You let's guys get should that check. Open. He put the boxers on, and I was like, oh, my God, you look like a stripper. Pull right there. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it tells you you should uh, clean that every once in a while, I guess, once you're uh, done, done shaving everything. There you go. It comes with different little heads in there and everything. But yeah, what a good uh, little combo with your e-bike. You could put it in your little side bag and stuff starts itching or getting a little uh, <laughs> irritating. Pull this right out, shave it up, Manscaped. Well, they have more than just nut razors, right? They have face razors. Nose trimmers, all that stuff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there we go, Manscaped. Or I'll, I'll try this out. I'll let you guys know. It's, it's supposed to not nick you and cut you, but we're, we're going to see you about that. There's a link down below. Manscaped, check that out. Use code SHREDDY, 20% off. And that does help support the channel. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay, so we also have Dio in the chat. Hello. Dio, hell yeah. Hello from- My favorite singer. Rump, Nevada. What's up? Hell yeah, Nevada. I've never been out to Nevada. I would love to, to visit, visit there sometime. This is Scarecrow, another Shredheads member. Hello, Shreddy. What's up, Scarecrow? Emilio, let's see the bike. Anaconda hug. It's coming. Death Rock. Kona Rider nut razors, lol. Nut razors. Jeffo, pull it out. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> the bike or, or do you want me to shave? You guys want to see the new boxers. <laughs> I'm not demoing it. Kona Rider, demo. every razor is a nut razor. <laughs> <laughs> sure is, it but sure is. But does it have a light? No, I'm kidding. Ben Actually, Anderson, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to be shaving my junk on a ride, bro. <laughs> Imagine that, like, dude. Hold on, stop the group ride. It's, it's, I'm feeling a little itchy down there. I gotta, I gotta pull out my Manscaped, guys. So pull out the box, get out there and just turn around right quick, get a little action. What is going on Ah, right much now? better, we're good. 
All right, shaved and ready to go. Hello from Rob from Hartford, Connecticut. What's going on? Ben Anderson, LOL, Kona. <laughs> you do it oh while you're a passenger, gosh. duh. I think it's so funny. We're talking hey, about do balls a on the side channel. Car. <laughs> Anaconda hugs. What's the red e bike? Never seen that one before. That's your favorite. <laughs> That's your favorite one. That is your favorite one. So this is going to be not definitely not its competition. It's going to be the budget friendly. If you want to, if you want to get into the dual motor, dual um, battery e-bike world. You also have a code for. He has a link. Yeah, for Arrow link. Rider. I think if you click the link, they might be having like 50 bucks off right now. But Frigo, if you guys are interested in the Frigo F3 Pro, F2 Pro, uh, they have another one with like a two seats or something like that. Check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY. It gets you $100 off your order. Make sure you definitely go through that link so they know that I sent you. Emilio Sequero oh, said, what's new, SHREDDY? What's going on, Emilio? <laughs> this is new. Why? Oh, God. Do you remember last time this had that the tape, the like sticker tape that took me like so long to open? <laughs> oh, my God. Don no, McCoola. Don from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey. Oh, my Hey, Don. What's Hello. up, Don? I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be concentrating. Hello, <laughs> said, don't need to see that. Oh, Jeff, though, it's very hard to find an e-bike that compares to Grizzly. I'm very curious to see what this Frigo has to offer. Me too. I can't wait to see. I'm going to take it out to the same sand dunes. Ow! I, I really <laughs> hate those staples. They could definitely do without the staples with how sticky this tape stuff they're using. Hold on. Let me swing this forward a little bit. Shreddy having a problem with this. Already, guys, if you're new to the channel, we do have this struggling with Shreddy that actually we did, we didn't, we did it. A little bit of a struggle, but yeah, sometimes I struggle building the bikes and then you guys come in and help me complete. And I, I don't think I've, I've had like a failure yet, right, Dee? Have we had a failure of a build yet? <laughs> Let's not jinx yourself. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the box did come in a little bit beat up, so I'm a little concerned about the front fork. If you guys remember, my first F2, um, or was it F2 Pro, came with a bent fork. They sent me another one, straight fork. And also, the other thing I'm concerned about is bent rotors. So we're going to see what happens. Let's see if it's any of that going on. Right now, I'm just going to open everything up, get all the boxes out of here, and see what they gave us. Maybe they gave us a shirt or something. And always be careful with these stupid things because they will rip your skin off. The staples, the staples are the worst. All right, we're going to get two. Looks like the charger. It's probably, I want to say, a two amp charger on here. How about my tools? This is all my tools, guys. Yay, he gonna, finally has tools. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start a tool fund. <laughs> Ice Scoot said, take the staples completely out first. I know, right? <laughs> it, I know it's gonna get me again. I'm not done with those stupid staples. <laughs> Greg Carney said, Greg, New Haven, Connecticut. What's up? What's up, Greg? Connecticut. I gotta make my way out to Connecticut again very soon, very soon. That back there, this is definitely a two amp charger. I know it's a two amp charger, we know it. I wish it came with two chargers because we got two batteries. That's the one thing with dual motor uh, or dual battery e-bikes, I wish they always came with two chargers. The V2 Grizzly actually did come with uh, two chargers because they were actually different charger ends. And then now the V3s, I, I think V4s, if, what they're up to now, only come with one charger since they're the, both the same uh, charging ports. And it is a two amp charger, so I like using my Grin Technologies uh, charger for this. Kona then, Rider said, all these nutmeggers, Wes Hartford here. What's that? All oh. these nut huggers? <laughs> Wes Hartford, Connecticut here. Hell yeah, a lot of Connecticut in here, right? How many Connecticut? How many people from Connecticut? A lot. <laughs> That's awesome. I see Connecticut said the staples also could scratch the bike pulling it out. Who's been out to a uh, spark in Connecticut? That's from Connecticut. Well, they gave me a foam mount. 
Do they all come with the foam out? That's cool. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah, it says holder. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see pretty good? Oh, Kona said all these nutmeggers. And then he said oh. Connecticut is the nutmeg state. What is a nutmeg? <laughs> I never Nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. I thought you said nutmegs. I'm like, huh? I didn't know what it said at first. <laughs> Greg Carney said, let's get a ride going. Let's do it. It's definitely time for rides, guys. Oh. There's definitely rides coming up here at the beach. So if you're local and you're or uh, if you don't mind driving, you're not too far. We'll definitely be having group rides, probably starting from the church here in Lewis or maybe Lewis Cycle Sports. Ice Cube said Spark is doing a group ride later this month. Who is? Spark Cycle Works. Spark Cycle Works is? I need to fly up there. You guys can check out that discount code for Spark Cycle Works below in the description also. I might use so many boxes in there. <laughs> What's in here? What do we got in here? Uh, I think we could do that. Razors always scare me. I've gotten sliced up pretty good. Oh, a headlight. Very cool. Comes with the little LED headlight for the front. That's pretty neat. You could always get a Wicked Thumb headlight too if you want. Just tell them the end that you have. What's your discount code for the Wicked Thumb headlight? 5% off. Use code ready. I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, use Coach Ready for 5% off. But wicked Thumb headlights, custom headlights, just like the one on the Aero Rider Grizzly. Can you see the Grizzly? Greg Carney said, does the Spark do test rides? They do, yes. Go visit them. Tell them Shreddy sent you. They'll be so stoked to see you. What's your discount code for Spark? Shreddy, Coach Shreddy, it's 100 bucks off. All right. You guys know I'm probably going to have to lay this bike down, pull it out. Be mindful of those staples. I should take them out, like Ice Scoot said. Ugh. What do we got here? Okay, I need to get my little uh, snips. I'm collecting a lot of these now. <laughs> They're always good to have, just don't snip the wrong cord. Oh, Greg said he has been to their new building. I would love to check it out. It looks nice. Damn, the whole box is, is ripping wide open. Look at that. I didn't know it was actually taped. Jeffo said, pull it out. Pull Woo! it out. Pull it out. <laughs> it's coming, dude. I'm trying to rush. I'm trying to rush it. There we go. Come on. What else? You guys, <laughs> if you are interested in this Frigo Three. F three pro e-bike there is a discount one more, one more link below make sure you use the link in the video's description yeah yeah there we go okay so there's dude don't tell me there's four. <laughs> oh my god there was three of these big fat old zip ties holding that uh that tire on so uh oh okay it doesn't have the uh the rotor i gotta put the rotor on I guess that's their answer to bent rotors. Okay. Add a little more time to my uh, assembly. Looks like just the front wheel goes on, the rear wheel is on. So that's good. Okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, that's handlebars. I might keep the handlebars wrapped. Rob, what bike has been showing out of stock for a few weeks now? The Frigo? Is that what he said? I'm gonna push this out this way a little uh, bit. Your bro said, do you know where the Frigo is based and where are they built? They have uh, one in the US, one in the UK, and one somewhere else. I'll have to look on the website. But I, know, I don't know exactly where their facility in the US is. I'm sure they probably use just like a shipping warehouse. They might not even be based in the US. I'm like holding that back so those stables don't fly forward at me. He Should said we... the F3. The F3, F3 is out of stock? Ugh. Oh, I think it's coming in soon. Oh, it got me. Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> it got me. Do you need a tetanus shot now? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you got warned. 
Oh, oh. Ice Cube Connecticut already wrote it. He said, Shreddy got shredded by the staples. I did. You How did you know? <laughs> Russell Zahner is in the house. Russell. <laughs> Russell said, congrats. I heard recreational went legal in Delaware. Oh, yeah. I'm so stoked oh, about that. <laughs> I was like looking at the chat, not at Shreddy. He's not stoked about that. <laughs> she doesn't care. Is there a battery? Hold on, wait a second, what's going on here? Hold up. What the? Okay. <laughs> How did I miss this? I don't know. That would help. I think that's a second battery. Oh, hold on, there's another one. What the? What? Guys, I thought I was done. Okay. Just making sure, making sure. Jeff has said, Whoa, get, bro, get some gloves. It'll save you a lot of blood. I know. Hold on. I do got some gloves somewhere. Oh, yeah. Good idea. That, that, well, now that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chronicles we, of Teleria. Which one should we open first? Persons with blood. <laughs> should we open the big guy or the little guy first? Hurry up. First person gets it. First person. Hurry up. Hurry up. Big comment, guy. Comment in the chat. Big one or little one? Big... Big. All right. <laughs> I might need my knife. Oh, yeah. Dude, this battery looks like a freaking gas tank. I didn't even know it had a, a battery up there from the picture. Like, it doesn't show that. <laughs> well, actually, it got kicked in. So, <laughs> it doesn't show. Dude, it looks like a gas tank. Yeah, it's round. Are you kidding me? I've never seen a, I've never seen a battery like this, guys. This is actually a first, and I'm not sure if, what certifications, if there are even any certificate. Nope, no, nope. nope. <laughs> not at all. No certifications on there. But how the Oh, you hold it down, boom, we're we're charged. And I'll just show you the connectors. Can you see it? Connects just like that. It kind of looks like the Grizzly, the back one. Um, actually, the Grizzly might have like two. Yeah, it's, the, the one on a Grizzly is a little bit bigger. Looks like. That's pretty cool looking. It's going to make it look like a motorcycle, right? Okay, well, <laughs> open the small one. Sorry, I'm like sitting here amazed at that thing. What do you guys think about the, the gas tank look? Would you want that or would you want like a normal looking battery? Well, I guess I'll have to see how it looks on to determine mm -hmm. that, right? To see how it looks. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm very interested. All right, so rotor is on the back there. Interested to see if it has torque arms on the back and on the front because you definitely need torque arms on this, especially with my experience with the Grizzly V1 when I took it out in the sand dunes. was ripping. I actually got a video out there when we were with Spark. Um, Ripping out there on the Grizzly, fr freaking front, um, like the hub, like spun in itself, and I guess the axle kind of spun, so it pulled out like the wires out of it. So they added the torque arms on the front, so I haven't had any problems with that, like ripping through the sand and hitting holes and stuff. Uh, this thing, sorry, I, <laughs> I got sidetracked. So you'll be testing the Frigo out the same way? Yeah, I'm taking it out to the sand dunes. We're going to see how this thing handles. We're going to see what the top speed is. I don't even know what the top speed Frigo is claiming on this bike. I'm really interested to see. All right, we got our pedals. That'll be like the last thing. Here it goes. Our rotor. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm positive they're, they're doing it like this so it doesn't come uh, bent. Russell said you can start the first 420 Airbnb. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why'd this come in the bag? I don't need that. Kona said, is there a three or four amp charger worth the upgrade? It was a, it's a two amp charger in here. Oh, so if you, if you have a Grin Technologies charger, I recommend using that. And I'm not sure how fast these batteries can take, uh, maybe up to five amps, but I'm not sure. Don't, don't, uh, don't charge up, up five amps. But He's saying is a three or four amp charger worth the upgrade from two from two yeah definitely but I, I, again i'm not sure if these the, what these batteries can handle and remember batteries um that don't have the certification 
Freddy is always a little bit scared of, but. User manual is, <laughs> is that small, so guess what? Shreddy don't need it, right? Hold on, let me just look at it. Let me just look at it. There you go, your bros. That's starting small. Doesn't say much. He said what happened, always starting small. All right, so we got our tools over here. Aerodynamic Rotor. battery. What's that? Russell said if you take the battery out, you got a nice hat, aerodynamic and whatnot. <laughs> ben Anderson said uh, he thinks the battery's cool, makes it look like a motorcycle. Yeah. Rob Bellacore, Grizzly 52 volt versus F348 volt batteries. Hold up, guys. I don't want to touch it. Lay that down. Let me find the bolts for this and I'll hurry up and screw these in first and then I'll get everything off of there. Nova said if you don't ride your sir on, I'll take it off your hands. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be riding it very soon, a lot. Um, now that I got wheelies down so good on my uh, Super 73, like I, I can wheelie the hell out of that thing. So I'm ready to build up the courage and pop the Suron up to, what is it like? It's pretty much almost 12 o'clock with the Suron, the balance point. So I, I'm just scared that, I'm, mainly I'm scared to drop my Suron, but... I just gotta feel that balance point one time and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, to wheelie the Suron because uh, now that I moved down to the thinner tires on the, uh, the Super 73, I think I'll be used to the thinner tires on the, the Suron. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna do a video. It's gonna be uh, day one doing Suron wheelies and I feel like I'm gonna freaking like get it. I'm gonna get it. I have faith in myself. My Feedy said, oh, I got to ride this when I come down. Yo, I'm stoked Feedy is in a chat. Feedy, I've never thrown the, the rotors on a bike. It comes in a, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. There's six of these bolts. Should I do them like in an even pattern or can I do them in a circle? You've never put the rotors on before? This will be the first time. I'm pretty sure this is the first time an e-bike came without the rotor. I'm gonna try to do it like from here to there in like a star pattern. And then I'll tighten everything down once Mike I- Mike Feedy said tighten them in a star. Nice. Kona said check direction of the rotor. Uh, I threw Connecticut said- Yeah, it's you're right. Loctite on the brake motors. It, it does have motors. Loctite already on these little bolts actually, which is pretty good. Yeah, Chronicles of Teleria, star pattern. Hold on, let me look at this rotor. You're actually right, the, the direction. Jeffo said, do you know what wattage and volt power the Frigo is? Supposedly, it has two 1,000 watt motors. All right, so every time uh, the rotor should be faced with the numbers facing out, right? That's usually what I always notice. The number's always like facing out. Anthony <clears throat> Hufat said crisscross. Mad Mike Bike said star. Tona Rider, oh, has an arrow. I'm the champion of mounting tires backwards. <laughs> it has an arrow on one side. Can you show us? Okay, yeah, actually. <laughs> now that I'm looking at the other rotor, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. It's got a little arrow. Pretty sure that's arrow, yeah, and it has a 180E. 180 Oh, the arrow points that way. So the rotation would be that way. Hold on. We'll face this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're good. I think right. Connecticut said, who needs front brakes? Leave it off. <laughs> Hold on. Bomber Marv had a, a, a bike he built a long time ago that didn't have front brakes, or at least the, the point where I test rode it didn't have front brakes. It was pretty funny. But uh, we haven't seen Bomber Marv on the channel, but we're going to have him on the channel very soon. He's got some very crazy surprises in store for us to see. And anybody else? Uh, what's the top speed around, is it around 30? To tell you the truth, I, I don't see anything on the website about top speed. I'll check it out again. Do you have my phone, the other phone? So, yeah, we'll check that out. 
And then he, you're going to do the video of the first round of review next, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And then here. So top speed. Here we go. F3 Pro. I wonder if it's on par with the Aero Rider Grizzly. What I got on this Grizzly was like 36 miles an hour on my review. So Max we'll see. Max speed, 25 kilometers. <laughs> I like the color. It looks a little bit different than my other Frigo, the F2. It's a little, I think it's shiny. The other one's more of a matte color. Here, then here. Let me get your website. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> yeah, we had a question. I don't think you heard me. Uh, Robert Bellacor oh. said, Grizzly 52 volt versus F3 48 volt batteries. Versus, what, what, what's, what do you mean? Hold on, right here. And then right here, hold on. Man, I'm on, I'm on like concentration mode really quick. Hold on, hold on. Am I thinking, what's next? I still gotta get all the stuff off the bike. Hopefully I'll never lose this rotor. I always like to use the tools that come with the bikes to show you that uh, you can build it with their tools. And actually because I don't have any tools. <laughs> My tool game weak. All right, now I'm gonna go around and tighten it all down. Nice little star pattern. And remember guys, always check your nuts after okay, the don't, bike build. I don't see the top speed anywhere. It, it probably doesn't claim a top speed. Hopefully the bike comes unlocked like my last one came unlocked. Some people were hitting me up saying that their bikes come locked. You can get in a dis display by holding like two buttons. Uh, there, there's a way to unlock it. It's actually not that hard. Okay, it looks like my keys are in here for the batteries. Let's leave that right there. All right, now we can get back to the rest of the unboxing. It just says 25 km, which I 25 kilometers, so that's like not American uh, speed. <laughs> that's not America speed. So it's probably going to be faster than that. So yeah, he'll test it out on the first round of review. Let you guys know for sure. All right, there's a front fender. That battery is so crazy looking. Ice Scoot said it's free go on the chat. Um, they, I I'm not sure. They might not be in the chat today. They were in the last one, right? I don't see them yet. If they are, feel free to ask them any questions that you may have. Well, you reviewed the F2. Do you remember what the top speed was of that? But that oh, have man, I don't even remember on that review. I, may, I think like 30 or something. Maybe I don't even, even hit 30. I'm not sure. Yeah, they. Uh, I scoot said I saw a YouTuber do a top speed of 30. On this one or the F2? I don't know. Uh, Mike Feedy said, nah, the Grizzly takes it. Yeah, I think so. I just want to see if it's like... On not like totally on par, but if it can just hang. Oh, and there's a battery, 20 amp hour battery there. I think this is like two, there should be two 20 amp hour batteries, so it's a total of 40 amp hours, if I'm correct. Mad Mike Bikes, I've put the front tire on backwards, then removed it and proceeded to put it on backwards again. <laughs> so this battery is 17.5 amp hours. And then I'm sure this one's gotta be the 20 <laughs> amp hour, just like the last one. Well, hold on, say that again. Uh, Mad Mike Bikes said, I put the front tire on backwards, then removed it and proceeded to put the tire on backwards again. <laughs> oh my God, I've done that before. Definitely. Indo said, he just contaminated the rotor with his bare hands. Did I really? Did I? Did I, I <laughs> see, when I don't pay attention. You're not supposed to touch it with your bare hands. No. I don't know if I actually touched like the, the part where the, actually, the actual brake grabs. I tried to grab like on the inside, like when you grab a CD, like. <laughs> I don't know. Don McCoy said star pattern always, even when it comes to wheels. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See? That's why we uh, we do this. 
so you can teach Shreddy. <laughs> Struggling with Shreddy. It happens. Always happens. Um, Mac Master, what would you say is the best e-bike for camping as far as tires, rack options? Man, I think the Aero Rider, this Aero Rider Grizzly is the best one for camping. Just because I got this big old rack with a huge bag. I got a little side bag on there, a little bag in here you can fill with tools. And if you guys are interested in the Grizzly, there is a link down below. They might be having like $50 off right now. I'm not 100% sure what's going on over there with their sales yet. And they might be coming out with some new stuff here coming very soon. I'm gonna stand this up a little bit and I'm gonna get the handlebars on then I'm gonna flip it upside down. Chronicles of Solaria said 25 km is 15 miles an hour. Yeah, that's that's definitely not, that cannot be the speed of this. <laughs> definitely in the UK that'll be the speed because you guys in the UK cannot oh, go that fast. Oh, they have that for the UK if it's kilometers. Yeah. yeah so that's not accurate. I haven't seen like uh, anybody else review this bike yet, so I don't know what the hell. Kona Ryder said he likes the paint job. Nice paint job. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, compared, yeah, the uh, the Free Go F2 Pro is actually right back there. It's, a, it's actually more of a matte finish. It has no shine like this one does. And once he puts this together, he'll compare both of them. So you guys yep, I'll pull up. Them. Yep, pull out the Grizzly. Check out the specs on the, the, the uh, Frigo. Cole Kiddo. I'm assuming these bike fills have gotten more efficient after building so many of them uh, now. Nope. <laughs> they have not. <laughs> <laughs> not really. What the hell is going on with this? Muscles on her. Every build has its issues. They like... What the hell? What the... DD24 veterans. Sorry I'm late. Get out. There we go. Got it. Got it. What's going on? Thanks for joining. You're not late. You're here. That's all that matters. Ben Anderson, I got to see how this thing performs because I'm already set on getting the oh. Grizzly. But if this works just as good, I might have to rethink that. Yeah, with 2,500 bucks, a Grizzly 3,300, even if you put like an extra 500 bucks in, it's still under. The seat is actually a lot nicer than the, the one before. The one before has like a like more of a smooth finish. This has kind of like a textured, you hear that? I'm sure they hear it. <laughs> It's not an animal. I hope okay. it's comfortable. He's like scratching it like a cat. I'm just checking it out for my, you know, my biscuits need some lovings with these seats, man, because sometimes my biscuits are hurting. Uh, hold on, there's two sets of keys. I wonder if you, the batteries have different, total different keys, I'm guessing. This is the key for Mike this Feedy, what kind of throttle and gear setup looks like the Alta shifters? I wonder if it is, it's an upgrade from what it was before. No, they're, they're, it looks like I said Disneyland when I looked at it. It's D-Y-I-S-L-A-N-D. <laughs> that does look sound like When I looked, I'm like, hold on. Okay, Mickey Mouse made this shit? <laughs> Russell's Honor, Kuberg has a matching off-road trailer. Man, I want to try a darn Kuberg so bad. I saw one in Houston and it looked so cool. Yeah, Jeffo said 25 kilometers is 15, but there has to be an unlock switch. It, it's it's got to be unlocked. Hopefully they send it to me, not in UK mode. Hopefully in shreddy mode. <laughs> shreddy mode. <laughs> Russell's Honor, unless you're going to go cargo style, I'd, I'd roll with the Lyric Graffiti. I'm still waiting on my graffiti. I don't know what's going on. I think there may be uh, some changes maybe going on. I don't know. There is a discount link for the Lyric Graffiti below also in the description. Use code SHREDDY. Any bike you like, guys. 150 all bucks the discount up. links are in the description. Yeah, once this box gets out of the way, I will reveal all the rest of my e-bikes. Well, a lot of them. Most of them, <laughs> not all of them. Uh, the Mac Bastard, who makes the Grizzly? Aerial Rider, so Aerial Rider. If, you, if you don't like the Grizzly, check out their X-Class. Um, check out the Kepler, I hear great things about the Kepler. Um, and also, there may be new stuff coming out very soon by uh, Aerial Rider. You can check out the Aerial Rider link in the description below. <laughs> I think right. it's $50 all. I would say all right. I say all right a lot. All right. <laughs> Hold on.
Hold on, fifty dollars off for what? The Grizzly? Yeah, it used to be, so it might still be. Hold on, there we go. <laughs> High school Connecticut. I want to see Shreddy assemble some IKEA furniture. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys, I used to work for Lazy Boy Furniture uh. Warehouse. So I, I did deliveries and they also had me in that place freaking putting furniture together all day long. That sucked. I hated it so much, dude. So that practice still didn't help Buzz. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Emilio Salcuero, nice color. I do like the color. I agree with that. I can agree with that. I'm just tightening this up in a cross pattern. There we go. Russell's Honor. It's the best deal on a dual drive you're going to get, I think. $24.99. Use code Shreddy. $100 off. I don't know. I always get made fun of when I put my bars forward like an old school like little BMX kid. Mike Feedy, they hit me up on this bike too, but we couldn't come to an agreement. I hope they treat you right, homie. Definitely, definitely. I hope you can, you can get one of these. I would love to race you. Or maybe we can do like this versus a grizzly in the, uh, in the sand dunes and we can switch back and forth. Don McCoy, star pattern always with the wheels. Russell's Honor, the graffiti is super light. Man, I want to wheelie that damn thing. You guys saw me. I started learning on it when I uh, did the initial test. But oh, we got a super chat. Oh, thank you. What's the question? Uh, $20 from Rwin29. Appreciate it. Shreddy and D love the content. You guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait for the Shreddy Transit Van show. It, that's what, that was the next thing I was getting ready to say. Uh, that $20 is going to be going towards a transit van for us because... We want to travel. We want to meet you guys. We can't wait either. Thank yeah. you so much. Let's see. It says celebrate the super chat. How do we do that? Woo! Is it going to like throw up like a little... I don't know. I'm trying to click on it. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to like super, super duper tighten it. I'm going to tighten it enough to where I can flip it upside down. Normally you can like lift, the, lift it and slide the wheel underneath it, make it easy. But I'm going to flip this upside down. Oh, the display is totally different. Wow, it's a lot bigger. Okay. Is it, is it super tight? Or? Russell's Honor, I would take super light single drive and camping because if I have to throw it over a forest gate, it's going to stay under 100 pounds. Yo, Russell, that, that, uh, that freaking hammock you, you showed me, I think it's sick, dude. So I don't know if you guys saw my, oh my God, I don't want to squeeze the brake yet because I don't know if it has one of those caliper space. Thing. So this is a heavy bike, guys. It is very heavy, guys. Very. Which is why we're doing the unboxing in the garage. Hold up. I just want to make sure that battery doesn't just, it's not locked. All right, we're locked. Tom McCoy locked. said Shreddy and Ikea. That would, <laughs> that would be an hours long video. <laughs> <laughs> hours, more like days. Oh, there we go. Rob Bellacara, regarding reliability, it may be Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, I'm glad I didn't squeeze any brakes because it normally has one of those little spacer things for your calipers. All right, so what? We had a 17.5 amp hour battery there. Um, actually, hold on one second. Where are the keys? Here's the other keys, okay. Oh. Well, there's so many keys, guys. So many keys, all right. I just wanna take the battery out to see what it, oh my God. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. All right, how does Josh this come Maddox, out? Josh Maddox, good to see you, Shreddy. I gotta moderate another channel, Gen X Talks. Nothing but love, brother, take care. Thank you, brother. Thanks for stopping by and saying what's up, bro. Hold on, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold on. D. Oh, what's going on? Hold up, ah. Oh. Let's zoom in, guys. Woo. What's happening? <laughs> um, since everything became legalized here, guys, I've, I've been getting a little slow. <laughs> All right, cool. So, and no, no UL certifications, nothing. 
of that nature. So when you do charge these batteries with no kind of certifications on them, charge them outside, maybe in the garage, you know what I mean? Like, well, not outside, <laughs> but maybe in your garage. Actually, I always charge your e-bike e batteries in the garage. And what does this say it is? It's a 48 volt, 20 amp hour. So you know what? This is definitely gonna be slower than the Grizzly. I thought it was a 52 volt. This is saying it's a 48 volt, oh, 20 was, amp hour. Which was that other guy's comment. Yep, so it's definitely gonna be slower than the Grizzly. Oh, got another super chat from Josh Maddox. Thank you, Josh, appreciate it. What's the question? $5 toward transit van, nothing but love, brother. P.S. Hey, D. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Josh, thank you so much. All right, definitely gotta put air in to there. Check out your channel, too. Gotta put this. John McCoy said, come to Cali. Uh, very soon, very soon. That's definitely happening very, 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 very soon. Amelia oh, Sapporo, hey D, do you ride the bikes too? Sometimes. If they're my size, yes, I ride them. And now it's getting warmer out, What's so going on? I'll be riding the bikes more. Okay, let me get in front of the camera. Maybe you can go straight down and show. They kind of like tighten this bolt super crazy tight on the axle. Does this mean you're going to need the audience's help again? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're good, we're good. I was trying to do it by hand, but every time I was turning this one, I was turning, I don't know. We're good. There's a lot of grease on there. Does it have torque arms? Nope, so I don't think we have torque arms for the front, but I don't know, maybe since it's a 48 volt, it's not gonna have as much oomph. Ice Scoot said it would be easier to flip the bike if you took the batteries out first. <laughs> I should have, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always a struggle with Shreddy. Mike Feedy, I got a bounce, bro. Hit me up and let's lock in a date for this week to shred and make some videos. Let's definitely hang out Monday, brother. It's supposed to be like 70 something degrees out. <laughs> it's not going to be raining or anything. <laughs> High school Connecticut said, did Shreddy smell his fingers? Did I? <laughs> oh, because it was like some, some sticky stuff on it. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like See you I, next week, Mike. I did get a little bit of damage on the fork down here. It's just like a little scratched up on the inside, but I don't think it's gonna like do anything. There we go. Slides in that way. Like that. Man, I really do do wish it had torque arms on it. That's the one thing. Any dual motor battery or any dual motor e-bike should have for sure. What's any questions, guys? Questions, questions. I know it gets boring watching me. <laughs> Anaconda is in Hawaii. He said, you lucky. transit van ain't going to be much help to see me putting $500 back in my pocket. Winky <laughs> face. Hey, we can fly. That would go towards flying to Hawaii. Yo, can you get me a <laughs> cheap tickets to Hawaii? He works for airlines. Oh, you man. do? Yeah, yeah, hook Shreddy and Didi up. We'll come visit you. We definitely want to make it to Hawaii too. Once we once we're done the touring in the transit van. Transit touring. Maybe we can take the transit van to Hawaii somehow. Russell's saying weed is legal in Oregon also. Is weed legal in Hawaii? <laughs> when did weed become legal in Oregon? Didn't you guys have that for a hot minute? <laughs> like Coda a Rider said he did smell his fingers. He's coughing grease. <laughs> oh, it is pretty gre greasy smelling. Rick said, what up, fam? What up, Rick? Well, I am Puerto Rican, so I'm pretty greasy. <laughs> I'm always smelling greasy, I guess. No, you don't. <laughs> He's like, no. Bulletproof Shredhead member. What up, Bulletproof? Finally Thanks for made stopping. it to the live. Oh yeah. Man, with, with these, like, I don't want to like over, super duper over tighten, but I kind of do. If shred you guys, yeah, for, for all the shred head members, I want to say a good special shout out to all you guys in the chat. And if ever anybody wants to join, become a shred head member, get a little uh, green, what are your names highlighted in green? You get a little shred head logo next to your, your name. Early videos, I, I sometimes do like early premieres, like you'll, you'll probably see the first ride and review of this e-bike 
uh, before anybody else. But what's going on here? Hold up. Russell Zoner, let's get e foils and surf there. Yeah, he wants to try e foil. He's in the zone, guys. Oh, uh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> Is something wrong again? Yeah, it looks like my front. Um, wheel is not sp going to spin. I don't know if like something's Should we come take a look? Bent? Yeah, actually look. Those little uh, the screws that I put in the rotor is actually like getting blocked by a piece of the fork. So let's see. Maybe it's it's always something I did wrong, right? <laughs> What the hell? That was weird. Oh, there it goes. I think it was like in a little bit crooked. It had a pop down. Did you guys hear that I heard snap? that pop. Okay. So I think, I think we're good. Maybe it was because I, I, hold on. I think it's when I tighten it. That might happen. Hold up, hold up. Don Bug and other Shirtheads members in the chat. Hi, what up, Don? D. Hey, Don. Shreddy getting into Surround merch right now. <laughs> Evan Frouge, hey Shredding D. What hey, up, Evan? Evan? So this is definitely going to be a struggle with Shreddy. Okay. Rob Bellacor said every drug is now legal in Oregon. <laughs> that goes, yeah, right. Sounds like Cali too, huh? Yeah. Rick, nothing much. That. Looking for better tires for the bomber. Went down a size from 21 inch to 19. What do you think about like the Shinko 241s? Do you have a link for Shinko tires? I think so, yeah. I what, should. in your Amazon store? Yep. Check out his for, Amazon For the Suron. Link. For Suron parts. Would they work for... Mm. You can check out his Amazon link in his description below, guys. Oh, I have more tools that you guys haven't seen. Let's do this really quick. Tom, Tom McCoy said, you put the front tire on backwards. Haha, <laughs> joke. <laughs> he has Like, wait a minute, did I? <laughs> Hold up. Russell said his wife just got home from the dispensary. <laughs> Man, we got one more year before those are actually legal in Delaware. We don't we don't have uh, dispensaries yet. So until next illegal year. weed is legal in Delaware. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, right? <laughs> Amelia said, "What are you gonna do with all those bikes, Shreddy and D?" I need to start a, a e-bike rental company. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't be a bad idea. Rick said Shinko 241 on my way right now. Yeah, that's what, it, hold on, that's what, that is exactly, exactly what's going on. When I tighten, hold on, maybe that, that's what, that goes on the inside. Hold up. All right, guys. Hold on. That does look like it goes on the outside. Maybe the one on the other side goes on the inside, a little washer. Yeah, because there's a divot for this one. See the little divot for the washer? Should I get close? Maybe right, it's guys, on the inside. Let's get a trip over here. Can you yeah, show looks us like what's going like, on? All right. So there's like a little divot for the washer right there. And it looks like it goes in there. There's like a little hole there. Um, same thing with the other side. But once I start tightening it up, this little nut gets stuck in here. And then the wheel won't spin. So like the forks like squeeze in. So maybe that goes on You're the inside. You're saying put the spacers on the inside. On the inside, right? Okay. Check if there's a spacer. Yep. I'm gonna have to take it out again. See, struggling with Shreddy continues. We'll but stay, thank you guys so we'll much stay for here. <laughs> yeah, stay here, stick around, help me out. <laughs> Don't leave me, guys. Boys. Oh, the struggle is gonna continue. Yeah, everyone's saying switch your spacers. Toad Boy rants up, my shirt heads. What's up, Toad Boy? Evan said, wait, you have tools now? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I guess. Hold on, there's, there's, they're now, it's now stuck, guys. Owner of tightening it up, like, bent something in there. Maybe this will be the first struggle that was real and actually you couldn't yourself. get past. Yeah, I remember <laughs> earlier I said that. I was like, we've never had a struggle with Shreddy where we didn't complete our task. So that looks like everything is, is stuck in there. Hold on, let me unscrew this. Don McCoy, I love this live chat. 
How's everybody doing in the live chat? Are you guys chatting amongst yourselves in there and saying hi to everybody? It's always a party in the live chat. It definitely is. I'm gonna have to force this out. Dude, this does not want to come out. Okay, one side's out. Get that out. I'm just gonna hold that in my hand. Ha ha! All right, inside. Get inside now! You're freaking in trouble, you stupid spacer. All right. Yoda said I'm about two minutes from driving down there. <laughs> they said the driver's side spacer is wedged in there. So this goes on the inside. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Does does the smaller spacer go on the outside then? See the or the the thinner one? Like that? Ben Anderson, first time loving talking to y'all. Russell said surreal AF. Can you do it on this side so we can see what you're doing? Come over on this side. All right, what's going on? I don't know if that spacer goes on the outside there. This one, the washer. All right, guys, does that go there or on the inside? See those, that little instruction manual? It wouldn't help me anyways. Can we look at another bike and see how it is? Hold on. Oh, I'm looking at the Huck and it is on the outside. Kona said spacers probably go on the inside. Thinking, I'm thinking. Thinking you're right. Instructions <laughs> ruin all Let's the fun. Try. It does. Well, you just read the instructions. Where are they? It's called the process of elimination. <laughs> all right. All right. I don't know how many more times I can say all right. All right. <laughs> there we go. Round whatever this is. Fight. All right, here we go. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Chronicles of Talaria. Spacers on the inside so it doesn't pinch when you tighten it. Here we go. Here we go. It's like a sandwich, you're right. Hey, the struggle is over. <laughs> I'm actually going to use the, uh, their tool to tighten it up the rest of the way because I felt like that was a little bit small. Tom McCoy said, process is when you pop a wheelie and your front tire flies off. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had that happen yet, but yes. do you know I'm, I'm, I'm scared and I feel like I know it'll happen one day. And I'm, I still haven't fallen on a wheelie yet. It almost happened yesterday. But I saved myself. Always wear a helmet when you're wheeling. Thanks for trusting my rear brake. Or riding, guys. Kona Rider said, yeah, looks like each spacer is preventing interference. There we go. Troy's not super duper strong, but oh, there we go. All right, definitely got to adjust those, the brakes or rubbing. But let me just look at the rotor, make sure it's not. OK, we're good. Evan said, are you still jamming out to Billy Ocean? Yes, man. I love Billy. Actually, I played it the other day, didn't I? <laughs> With the computer. I've actually been rocking out to A Day to Remember. That was like my favorite, favorite band back in the days. We actually went to their show in Philadelphia. It was so much fun. They had like beach balls bouncing all over the place. All right. That was a little struggle. That was a little struggle, right? All right. So... What should I do next, guys? Should I put the pedals on right now? Or let me let me move this box so you guys can see more stuff. Chronicle oh. said passenger side keeps the wire clear. There we go. Chronicles of Solaria. It's because you spill blood, lol joke. Pleading with Shreddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pleading with Shreddy. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna uh, add like another zip tie to this to keep this very far away from, from that tire. Okay, yep, all right. Pedals, and then we'll stick the battery on. Darn, Neat. it's getting cold here. It's like 50 degrees, 51 degrees, what the hell? Me and Marshall said, just got a Grizzly. What are the best upgrade accessories hell, I should yeah. get? Yeah, well definitely, I'll pull out the Grizzly here in a second. I wanna show you guys this awesome uh, cup holder. Actually, uh, recently I was 
talking to D, I was like, maybe we should do a, would you, actually, can you do a poll in here? Would you guys like to see a live stream where I show you all my favorite e-bike accessories and also show you all my filming equipment and how I like film my stuff. Cause I always have you guys asking me all about like, what equipment do you use? How, how do you film this? And always asking about accessories and stuff. So a lot of my bikes have different types of accessories like bags, cup holders, phone mounts, uh, camera mounts and stuff. Left, right, okay. These right now setting up that pole for you guys, unless I think it's up already. Nice, good job. With the quickness. There we go. Normally you're supposed to put like, a, you can put like a little bit of grease. Shreddy doesn't never do that. I think I did it with my Suron though, I think. Probably, probably did it with the Suron. Tom McCoy said, wait, you crashed it when you were on the grass. You tried to pop a bunny hop. Uh, that, that was, hold on, what did I crash? Hold on. In front of me. That was the, um, the super, super, yeah. And remember I broke a freaking cord on it and I had to, I had to repair it. Like my horn broke. Oh, that wasn't the only time he crashed. He got hit and got in a really bad accident. Oh, the Grinch crash? Yeah, it's, yes. gonna, it's supposed to be on ridiculous, ridiculousness soon, guys. If you see it on there, let us know. Yeah, they actually called me and, and they, they bought two of my clips. Two crashes. All right, pedals are on. Battery's going on next. We're gonna flip it over. We got the front light. Oh crap, we got a fender. We got a fender. Fender, we'll do the fender too. I'll, maybe I'll leave the fender off. It looks more like dirt bike-esque. Dirt bike-ish. I'm saying hell yeah, got the pedals on. I'm, I'm behind guys. Oh, that thing's heavy. Everyone said yes. Oh, all right, definitely um, a lot lighter without the batteries. Russell's Honor, what's your favorite guitar? Oh man. I think my, my uh, oh shit, which, which one did I really want? I wanted a Squire, a Fender Squire with like, there were like dual, like EMG pickups or something in it. It was like a very metal sounding guitar. I like metal sounding stuff. Like We have another Shredheads member chop, chop. in the chat, Brian McCann. What's up, Brian? Thank you for getting here finally. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> All right, now I can get my seating position. Oh, that's, that very that's the tires. <laughs> uh, the suspension actually feels a lot better than the F2 Pro that has like a DNM or something. Ugh. Hold on, that doesn't have a DNM, no way. It's a HLT on that one and this one has Yair Sosa, hello brother, new know. to the channel and in the area, waiting for a Tesco e-bike. I hope to see you someday in the beach area. Oh hell, you're definitely going to be seeing me. We're going to be doing some group rides around here very soon, so be on a lookout for that. And if you ever see me on the trails or anywhere, even not on an e-bike, stop me. Let's make some plans for sure. Evan Fruit, ridiculousness money, now you can get that van. It's not that much. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was like 200 lot. bucks. <laughs> Bubba Shitty, what's up? What up, Bubba? But man, everybody joins later. Maybe we'll start these like at nine. <laughs> yeah, what time works best for you guys, these live streams? Some, some people are in the UK, so they like them earlier for... But right now is nine. Ice uh, Coot, Connecticut. Shorty seemed a little too happy when he was bouncing up and down on the free <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Getting a little frisky on the Frigo. It's always nice when they have good suspension. I gotta feel out the front fork too. So it is adjustable front fork suspension. I don't think I've seen any adjustment knobs. Ice Cube said 9 p.m. Nope. is bedtime, so not 9 p.m. So Too late. <laughs> what time do you wake up uh, in the morning for work, Ice Cube? Rob Bella Casera said, if you feel the front wheel would come loose and fall off while riding, drill a hole through each nut and threaded post, then put a cotter pin through them. Same as older dirt bikes. Better to be safe. Yeah, seriously. That's why I have a Bomber Marv. He actually has like all these different torque arms and he can definitely hook this bike up for sure. 
let's not strip it. Make sure you're in there. There we go. All right, I think that's tight enough. Rear brake, oh, we hit the notification bell already. So the rear brake, it's going down all the way. What the hell is this adjustment knob thing? That's why, why. okay, there we go. For those of That's you just weird. joining, there is a discount code for the Frigo in the description can of you, the video. Can you zoom I in on- a discount link. Can you zoom in on this? I've never seen the brakes have the adjustment screw sticking out. That's why I thought it felt weird. So you can adjust it to grab higher or back it out to bring it in closer. That's, I've never seen brakes like that, but that seems like something that could snap off. I'm not sure. You guys sure. want to see it closer? I'll yeah, I've never seen that. There. Comment, comment. Let me know if you guys seen this before. The adjustment screw is there and it's actually a whole little, little piece. There's your Can controls. Can you see the display? Display. Actually, I'll pull that off on the review. Let me get the battery on. We'll see what that looks like. We'll turn it on. I'll, uh, where's it? Where's the selector switch for like dual motor or single motor? I wonder if, if this is what it is or if that turns on and off the throttle. There's a button there, button there, button there, and there and there for on the controls. All right, we'll see. When I, when I turn it on, hopefully I don't uh, take off on dual motor and get wrecked. All right, motorcycle battery. Is that, the, that, that has to go up there, right? There we go. And it's locked in. Dude, that looks neat. That actually looks cool. Look at it. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> that's so funny. So that's a 17 and a half amp hour battery and this is a 20 amp hour battery. All right. And so how do we do this again? Oh, that was the other side with the other, the other, the other side. And keys are here. <laughs> so remember, don't have the pedal in the way. <laughs> oh dear. It's like Christmas. All right, we're locked in. Oh, headlights and fender. Oh, I keep on forgetting there's still stuff. I keep forgetting. Not in love anymore. Oh, all right. Any questions, guys? While we get this headlight and fender on. Fender. Can Kevin you said you need to here? do free go Fridays. Free go Fridays. All right, let's go. Up here like that. Right, yeah, not built like that. Does it have hydraulic brakes? Hydraulic disc brakes, and like we saw earlier, what was it, 180 millimeter rotors? 180 millimeter rotors. What do we got here? Uh, normally those little screws. Okay, so that's for the top. I'm missing one of these for the fender. One of these little guys that go in the fender. I'm gonna be one freaking nut short. Seriously. Maybe I'm not gonna put a fender on this, but then watch on my review, it'll start raining and I'll get stuck in the rain with our front fender and I'm gonna be eating nasty, nasty road. Uh, it's not on the side. No, I don't see anything. Let me drink a little bit of water. See any questions rolling through there? Any other colors available? Um, <clears throat> they have green and black. And I'm not sure what they have available right now for this bike in particular, though. Rob said they are just disc brakes, not hydraulic. Uh, no, they're hydraulic. It's, it's not mechanical. Do you want to show us? Uh, there you go. Um, there. <laughs> <laughs> see, there's, you don't see the wire coming out. What's it say down here? Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. All right, so I don't think I'm going to put the fender on. We're gonna go with the headlight. 
here goes our little headlight uh, screws. And it looks like they, they finally got a better mount for this headlight. I think I just broke it. Chronicles of Solaria said, I like my women just like my e-bikes, fenderless. Fenderless, let's go. <laughs> ben said, oh, you broke it. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get one side in, nice and loose. Nice and loose. Oh. I broke it. Something. Now we're good. <laughs> bring it in, bring it in. Come on, bring it in, bud. Okay, maybe not. Bring it in. I see, I see. There we go. That's why I want them, you want it loose when you get that one side in so the other side can grab easier. Okay, now we can tighten this up. Any questions? I know you guys want me to turn this on. I want to see that display, I'm interested. Diddy. That's the name of the headlight, Diddy. All right, we're gonna sit back down. <laughs> oh, you've been, you've been standing up that whole time. Diddy's putting in some work. All right. Headlight on. Fender. We're fendless. Oh, no, I found it. It was literally right next to it. <laughs> All right, we're, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Chronicles. We're going, we're going Fender again. I'm like losing stuff, man, everywhere. Everywhere I'm losing stuff. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Boom, get that in there, like boom. There, a little washer. Do you guys say washer or washer? These says water. Do you guys say water or water? <laughs> Washer and how do you guys say W A T E R? <laughs> they you can't hear them. <laughs> I got, say water with with a wood wooder. I don't say water. All right. I say water. Go. Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? It's probably. If you come to Delaware, you'll be saying yeah. water too. <laughs> no, don't do it. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Huh? There we go. See, the color of this carpet makes it so hard to find my tools. <laughs> makes it very hard. If anybody's just joining, this is the Frigo F3 Pro. There's a link down below to save $100 off. Dual motor, dual battery, 48 volt, two 1,000 watt motors. I'm not really sure if they're just saying like they peak at 1,000 watts. Frigo Bikes link is in the video's description to check out their bikes. Shown here, hundred dollars off. Kona Rider said, "I'm from Maine, so I say Wada." <laughs> Wada. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you guys have uh, my my mom's like Sicilian family is all up in um, like Boston, Woburn, and they have a very strong accent. So Wada. New England accent. They say aunt, and yeah, other stuff. <laughs> Wada. Jose, how many bikes you got now, bro? Like 25. <laughs> when Bruce, Chronicles of Solaria, when Bruce Lee is thirsty, he says Wata. Wata. I didn't like Bruce Lee yesterday because he had the bandana on. Or Karate Kid. Oh, that is fun. Like Water. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Miyagi. If I... Ben Anderson, Wasser. Oh, Wasser? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy what? Elliott, is there such thing as e-bike hoarding, lol? I think this is what it is. You should see the house. Would anyone like a bike? <laughs> you guys interested in buying any bicycles? There's links down below for everything that you see behind me. Oh, what did they say about, uh, what, how did the poll go about? Do you guys want to see like accessories? Um, stuff like that. The poll says... 93% voted yes, they want to see a live stream for e-bike accessories. Okay, you got it. You guys freaking got it. <laughs> I'll show you all the camera equipment I use, the drones that I use. I'll have links for everything. My cup holders that I like to use, my foam mount. I got a new foam mount. Uh, uh, it 
coming out very soon. Tac Form came out with something new, a redesign. There's links down below for that also if you guys are interested. Do you have a discount code for Tac Form or just a No, just a link. link below? Just a link that'll show them that I sent you guys and it gives me credit towards Camper Van. There we go. I got to concentrate over here. I got to concentrate over here. <laughs> Seth Rock's watching the Lakers versus Warriors. Who's winning? Who's winning? Dom Makula, H2O. What up, Dom Makula? Anaconda Hugs, the brake adjustment. I'll adjust. Has been flooding reviewer videos for a couple months. How long has your Frigo been sitting around in the garage? <laughs> for a hot minute. Oh, he did a Frigo um, live unboxing and review for the F2 a few months ago. Mm -hmm. This is the new F3. All right. Fender on. Definitely doesn't look as cool with the Fender. Like without the Fender, it almost gave us like a little dirt bike-esque. <laughs> Why do I keep on saying esque? Dirt bike is look okay. Chronicles okay. of Teleria. What do you think about the Teleria R? I want to try it. It looks awesome. All the upgrades. Seem pretty freaking cool. Hold on, what were we talking about that I had to do? What else I got? Fender? Fender's done. That's on. On. Oh, um. I think I want to adjust that front brake. Maybe I should. These ugh. colors do look cool. Hold on. Those are like some crazy looking brakes. All right. Gibdo, what's up, Dean Shreddy? What up? And Shredhead? What up? What up? Can you guys see me or am I blocking it when I'm like this? Okay. So there's... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get in there. That's where they put a spacer in there. Okay. Anyways. What are you doing? Um, I was going to just like loosen these two bolts up and then squeeze up here to kind of like straighten out the brake caliper. But I gotta keep hopping around to find all my tools. Can you see? Is it hard? It's hard to see this. Yeah. Oh man, they were actually really loose. Oh, Evan Cruz, you gotta check out the Peak Design Bike phone mounts. Send me a link, brother. Jose P, 25 bikes stand. So which one's your favorite one you ride <laughs> the most? It all depends on the style of riding I wanna do. But recently I've been just loving doing wheelies. Lots of wheelies, guys. Lots of wheelies. Then once I get wheelies on the Suron, you guys will be seeing the Suron back on the channel a lot more often. Give no said shredding, I'm in your walls. <laughs> <laughs> I need you some help come, with this room. You want to come paint our walls? Yeah. There we go. Kona Ryder said center of the calipers. Yep, exactly. And normally, like... Oh, Frigo's in the chat. Wanna, Thank you very much. There they are. So if you guys have any questions for Frigo, they are in the chat Frigo. right now. Live. Live Frigo, everyone has a question. They went to check out the bike, and it says sold out. And um, is code Shreddy for $100 off working? There we go. Yeah, the brakes actually do feel good now. All right. All right, all right. You guys want to see the display? Turn it on. Then we're going to pull out the Aerial Rider Grizzly. We'll put it next to it to see both for size comparisons and everything like that. Anaconda Hug says you should tell your sponsors anytime you install an item, you want an extra one to give away to the audience like yeah. Oprah. Free stuff for everyone. Yeah, what do you think about that, Frigo? <laughs> All right, so the battery is top one should be always on, I'm guessing. There's no switch. Okay. Uh, bottom one. Um, normally you're supposed to have both batteries like fully charged together when you're running uh, batteries like in parallel. I'm not even sure if they have some kind of like um, what is it like a battery blender or not in here. So maybe I'll just turn on the the top battery by itself and I'll charge them both uh, together later. Um, I'll do yeah we'll just do the top battery. Let's turn on the display. Where is the power button? It looks like it's down here. Can you see the display? I'll, I'll try to bring I can it. come closer. You good? Can you see it? Um, I'll just come closer. Long press. Oh, nice. there we go. Did a little like calibration thing. I'm gonna lift both. Okay, so we're on both. Let me see if this red button. 
Okay, so the red button out is just rear wheel, and then each level of pedal assist, I'm pretty sure it does the speed because pedal assist zero is nothing. One goes to six, but this is with no load. We'll see if it's unlocked when we get to five. Okay, so the bike is not unlocked. Frigo, can you guys send me instructions on how to unlock this? Normally, I think you could press these two, get into the display, but I don't know what any of the settings are, like what P settings. So we get to the next one, next one. Oh, it looks like that must be a password or something. Yeah, I think that's that's got to be a password to get in display. So before I do the the um, actually let me keep it on. Before I do the review, I definitely I'm definitely gonna unlock this bike because going 15 miles an hour just is not gonna cut it. So let me do dual motor five. Still 15. All right. Let me clear this out a little bit, and then I can get the grizzly out and everything. Frigo, when will this bike be available? Is it, it's not available just yet? Is that what they're saying? Or is it uh? It says pre-sale, but um. So they're taking pre-orders right now? There we go. Sorry guys, just clear, clearing up some space. We'll be, be sure to answer any questions you guys got. Okay, very bouncy, very bouncy. I'm excited to test this in the sand dunes, guys. I gotta put air in the tires. And then, um, as always, guys, when you're done with your build, make sure everything is nice and tight. Always, like I always say, always check your nuts, always. And then after, I say after maybe every 50 miles, check that front nut a lot, actually. Check that front nut a lot, because they tend to loosen up just from learning with the aerial rider grizzly and everything. Chronicles of Teleria said the... Uh, display reminds him of an arcade racing game. So 37 amp hours cool on that one. Yeah, it does, like the way it turned on. It I cool. think uh, Chris said, Frigo, never lock your bikes. I think some companies are doing it now, and you just have to call in to get the unlock. Yeah, I think that's like a like le legal thing. Legal, yeah, legal stuff going on. All right, guys, so should I turn them a little more sideways? So oh, Kona said it's for the Euro laws. Yes, yeah, sideways. <sighs> nice and light without the battery. So this does have a, this is a 52 volt e-bike. It does have two batteries. Um, they're inside actually. There's one here and then one on the down tube. I think it equals up to like 36 amp hours. Again, uh, 52 volt system. It's got two 30 amp controllers underneath the seat that powers uh, the dual uh, 1000 watt motors. Then again, I've gotten a top speed of about 36 miles an hour on my review of that. Um, we'll see if uh, this can get at least 32 miles an hour since it's a 48 volt e-bike. Um, in comparison, <laughs> okay, the front had a little bit of power. It looks like it goes fast. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like it goes 15 miles an hour right now though. <laughs> you almost ran to the wall. We'll turn that off, okay. So, all right, where was I at after that just happened? Let me back that up and pull that forward a little bit. <laughs> Burnout on the carpet. It's all good. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys me size comparison. Let's see. My legs, just a slight, slight bend to it. I think. Uh, and how tall are you? I'm, I'm about five foot eleven, pretty close to six feet tall. Um, and then compared to the Grizzly, this does have a different seat. Um, from OC Cafe Racer. Actually, they feel almost about the same. It feels like the Grizzly is a little bit lower with this seat. And then the handlebar position almost feels even like the same with it being kind of straight upwards like that. Let me get on it again. Yeah, this is just like a just slightly lower handlebar position compared to the, the Grizzly with the big old bars like that. Yeah, I'm interested to see the speed. So the Grizzly does have uh, adjustable front suspension and it actually feels a lot stiffer than when we have here. And again, you can adjust the suspension on this too, but this one, you can't lock it out. 
and I'm pretty sure you can lock this one out. There we go. Yep, you can totally lock out the suspension if you want. This has a single little rear shock. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that the Aero Rider has dual rear shocks on the back. Um, it, it's always felt kind of stiff to me, not like super bouncy, but you can always adjust them if you want, add air, take out air. Um, compared to this one, this is definitely a lot bouncier, um, but I feel like if you do go pretty hard off-roading, it'll, it'll definitely bottom out with something like this. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna see if we can bottom this thing out. I'm gonna see how much sand we can pull through. We're gonna get on the beach. We're gonna get on the sand dunes. And we're, we're definitely going to put this bike to the test. So if you guys are interested in any of these e-bikes, interested in the Frigo F3 Pro, check out that link down below. Use Coach Ready to get $100 off your order. We also, they also have the F2 Pro, so check out their bikes over there. The, the more budget-friendly, um, kind of like beginner type e-bike. If you're interested in Air Rider Grizzly, check out that link down below. They might have something like $50 off right now. $24.99 with $100 off. Um, and that's uh, $32.99 with possibly $50 off right now. I'm not sure what discounts they have. This one does have a notification bell. Any questions now that we uh, got both bikes out? Is there anything you have a question about? It's hard. Can you turn them sideways? Any of these bikes. Oh, I forgot the foam out. This one a little bit more. Yeah. How about this way? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> There we Much go. Much better. Let me get, get behind it. There we go. And keep in mind, like, Shreddy changed that Aero Rider Grizzly seat to, like, a shorter seat, so it normally doesn't look like that. It normally looks a little bit longer. No, it's, it's the stock one is about the same size. And you put a back size. rack on it. Yeah, normally um, it just has, like, a small little back metal rack extension thing. It's not even a rack, but, um, and I also have a second piece of this seat, so you can have a two longer. up on there. And, and we do have uh, rear pegs on this. Um, the Freegar F3 Pro does not have rear pegs on it, but I'm not even sure if you can fit two people too comfortably on here unless you get some kind of extended seat, but really you can't add too much more into the back of this. I definitely dig like that motorcycle, like the motorcycle style look to it. I can't wait to try it out and hopefully they can give me the code to unlock this thing pretty soon. <laughs> Um, I wanted to go out there and rip on this let's get before I charge questions. the batteries. Chris and Claire said it would be great if they had a 52 volt option. I recently upgraded I my bike to 52 volts and it really helps the voltage sag. I totally agree. Yep. So the Aero Rider is the 52 helps volt. Helps with range and everything. Yep, Aero Rider is a 52 volt. It's got two 52 volt batteries, dual motor. These pointing at something. Point I don't know to the Aero Rider so they know which one it is. That's oh, Aero you guys, Rider, guys, it says it right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's. <laughs> In case someone's just joining. <laughs> um, Gibdo said I'm six foot four on a good day, so you think he'd probably fit on both of these? Definitely. And again, with like these style bikes. I, oh, do you know I, the weight limit for each? I, I didn't see the weight limit for this. Was it like three something? I don't know. These gonna check. I should have my phone on me for all the stats here. <laughs> Yeah, here. Do you want to get the phone for the sets? And we, we, I didn't even say we do have a seven-speed uh, gear shifter on there, derailleur. Uh, what brand? It, it is a Shimano down there, but the thumb throttle is a Shimano SIS Index. And then the Disneyland the brakes. Oh, thank you, DD. Is there anything for America? America. I see lots of kilometers. Yes. This says 48 volt, 40 amp hour, but it did say this was a 17.5 and this one was a 20 amp hour. Uh, max speed, not really sure yet until we unlock it. They claim a range of 44 to 68 miles, I'm guessing with pedaling. Should be pretty easy to pedal this bike with the long pedals. And actually, guess what? This, this already feels a lot better quality than my F2 Pro. It's gonna be a lot better, I can already tell that. The weight is 99 pounds, it is pretty heavy. Max load is 400 pounds, that's awesome. Um, transmission gear seven, brake system. It is hydraulic brakes, like I said, head, head and tail light. It says tail warning light, maybe when you squeeze the brake. Oh, I'll, I'll turn on the headlight too. Yeah, they said which headlight's um, brighter. It's high strength steel pipe. 
that's what this thing is, the frame is made out of. And I wish it would tell me the, the American speed, America speed. Give me America speed. Headlight. Fenders on. Oh, there we go. I gotta fill up the tires. All right, back on. All right, how do we turn on the headlight? Maybe this? Nope. Hold on, I'm gonna hold up. It might be a walking mode. Nope, I'm gonna hold down maybe. Might be a walking mode. Yep, that's a walking mode, okay. Hey, Mr. Headlight, where are you? Maybe it's automatic headlights. No? Uh, <laughs> now we're struggling with shredding on how to turn on the headlight. <laughs> how do we do this? Okay. Well, I guess the Air Rider has a brighter headlight. <laughs> oh. Duh. Come on, guys. Why don't you tell me I didn't plug it in? <laughs> Jeez. You guys. No, I said, Alexa, turn on the headlight. <laughs> you guys, what the hell, God? <laughs> All right, hold on. Was up automatic walk? Down was? Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Didi. <laughs> There's a the headlight. There we go. Is that bright? Can you guys see? I don't know, I don't want to look straight at it. Neighbors are probably like, can you turn that freaking light off? Oops, it's this one, right? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's the bottom one. There we go. And then the rear light. I think it, it must be. Oh, you gotta have it on. Okay, so the rear light doesn't have like a daytime running rear light. Is it hard to see this? I think, okay. it, I think it's supposed to like blink or something. Oh no. Okay. But it's on. It's on. Is it? Is it blinking? Yeah. Is it a blinking? All right. But now it's, oh, okay, it does work. Hold on. My left cutoff sensor isn't, isn't working. Okay. I'll have to check all the connections. It looks like my left cutoff sensor isn't plugged in. So that's why I wasn't engaging the, the light. All right, now let's see the Arrow Rider light. Okay. Oh, I don't have any batteries for the uh, Arrow Rider in right now. Everything's downstairs. Oh. Battery wise for it. Well, it's a nice bright light, but he has the Wicked Thumb upgraded headlight. Yeah, on there. I'll show you what it looks like. So we can get this headlight on there if you just order it from uh, wickedthumb.com. Let me turn this off. So. Go over to wickedthumb.com, check out their website if you're interested in any of their custom headlights. Let them know what, what bike it's for, and if they don't have it for that bike yet, just send out a picture of your connection. Uh, use code SHREDDY, I think it's like 5% off your order for the headlights. And if you like a Wicked Thumb bike, he also has a discount code. Yup, and don't forget, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. So if you guys wanna <laughs> keep all your stuff nice and Trim before an e-bike ride, get your Manscaped trimmer. This is the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. Use code SHREDDY, get 20% off your order. Manscaped.com. <laughs> it's nice having uh, uh, sponsors for these videos. Now you guys can shave your junk and keep it nice and, and fresh for your e-bikes. <laughs> Matthew Terceyx said, what's What's up, man? Love you and your content. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the support, man. I really do. Let me get this battery plugged in here. Kristen Clare said, what's the top speed KMS? I'm Canadian, I'll tell you. Oh, what, what did it, I, th I think it's like 15 miles an hour, actually. It was, or what, 15 tw KMS. 25 kilometers or something it said? Or, I don't know. I don't know. 25, <laughs> I don't know. But it's just unlocked and then, hold, what, you'll do the first ride and Yeah, review. I gotta unlock That's it though. I can't, I can't ride 15 miles an hour now. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm excited though to try this thing out and see how it does compare to the Aero Rider Grizzly. Definitely a little bit shorter wheelbase, I think? Or what do you think? So they're the same exact height? Looks like it. 
just a slightly shorter wheelbase, not by much, as you can see right there in the front. I got the back wheels even. But yeah, not, not, not too much bigger. And the seat really is almost exactly the same height, just like a half inch taller over here. Very cool. So what are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Any questions? We got another uh, bike to unbox soon. We got some, some more review videos coming out. If you guys uh, didn't see, I did a little daytime stealth camping video where I took my hammock out, did some editing out in the woods, found some trails for the Suron. Um, check out that video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more like actual stealth camping and stay somewhere around there at night and I'll like rip around on the Suron for fun and go back to the camp, maybe cook something out cook something up, uh, eat some shrimp tacos or something and sleep out there in my hammock with, um, I have like the mosquito netting and stuff. So if you wanna see like e-bike camping videos like that, just comment down below, let me know, send me messages. Um, for me, like I love camping and I love watching videos of people out camping, uh, but what no better way to do it than with your e-bike. And I was thinking doing it with the Suron and have like a little campfire out there. Well, actually if you're stealth camping, you can't do fires. Maybe I can bring some grills. Like, Right now, I have like my Amazon uh, store uh, cart full of camping gear. <laughs> so let me know if you guys want to see that because I got, I got a tarp that I want to order. I got cooking stuff I want to order. Um, what else? There's Chronicles like a, of Tulare said shorty catch and cook. <laughs> catch and cook. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I'll camp closer to the beach. I can ri run out there on my Suron, catch a freaking uh, flounder <laughs> or something and Take it back to the camp and, and fry it up on the grill or something. King Louie, when is the wheelie tutorial video coming out? Oh, uh, do you guys want to do you want a wheelie tutorial video? I guess on the only bike I know how to how how to wheelie the, the Super 73 RX, which is right there next to my Suron. But soon I'm gonna get on a Suron. I can power wheel in a Suron, like alright. Still haven't hit that balance point. I'm scared to get it. I got new brakes that I need to put on the Suron also. Um, Somehow I got a little bit of grease that got on my rear rotor, so I'm kind of I'm scared to actually take that out for rides right now. So I clean the chain, get new rotors and brakes on there. I got a new front fork to put on there. A lot of, a lot of upgrades coming for the Suron. Um, possibly a 72 volt battery coming from Chai Battery Systems, um, which I think they're coming out with a new battery for the Super 73 coming too. If you guys are interested in any upgrades for your batteries, check out ChaiBatterySystems.com. Use code SHREDDY, get 5% off your order over there. I have the 60 volt, 60 amp hour Gladiator battery in my Suron and that thing freaking rips with the BAC 4000 from Greenland Engineering. But any questions? I see the, the comments are going crazy over there. Uh, Learning said, has a question about the Frigo website. Yep. Um, check out the Frigo website through the link SHREDDY put in the video's description to yep. go to Frigo and yep. make sure it's the right website. Um, I just checked it earlier. It was working, so it should be okay. Let us know if his link works. Um, ben Anderson, have you thought about putting BMX handlebars on the Grizzly? Man, I have thought about it, but it would lower that profile. And for me, when I'm riding the Grizzly, it's so much more comfortable with it in front of you, especially if I'm wearing a book bag. Oh, they said your but link isn't working at all. For the Frigo? Yeah, so we'll definitely check that and we'll update it right after this video. Okay, yeah, Frigo, if you guys wouldn't mind checking my link, that would be awesome for people to buy the bike and check it out or check out the website. <laughs> um, any vids on the Lyric Graffiti coming soon? I haven't heard anything uh, back from them on sending me a graffiti. But the only thing I've heard is they, they came up with some updates on the 305 Ghost. There's some different stuff coming out on it. It's going to be different than what it was on my video. If you guys are interested in pre-ordering anything over there, $150 off. Link down below. Use code SHREDDY. And he does have the first look uh, lyric graffiti video you can check and out. And the 305 there. Ghost, too. Yeah, but if Frigo link isn't working, guys, then check out the Aerobrider Grizzly. It's here. And I just want to point out that he put... All this stuff on the Arrow Rider Grizzly, change the seat and put all this like green, these green like bags on it. And I think it looks so much better without all these green bags. This will be a good camping bike though. I think, think you about guys it. would think it was a lot cooler looking without like the green bag around the headlight and without the green bag in the rack. It's like kind of throwing off the look, but it is a really cool looking bike. It's actually his top seller. A cargo bike. Look at it. I mean, how awesome <laughs> would this be for like camping and like, uh, like even like, Hunting, you could be a hunter with this bike. Put a little trailer on the back, put your uh, 
whatever you catch or kill on there. Learning, they said the link, other people are saying the link's working for them. Um, okay. Learning said, how long have you had the Grizzly for? Any issues so oh, far? Oh man, this was a Grizzly V2 and uh, I had the Grizzly V1 since it came out. So I've had Grizzly since it came out. Uh, the V1, remember I said earlier I had the problem with a motor going out. They sent me a new motor. But that's and because he was riding over a sand dune. Through dunes, sand dunes. Like, like all really, day <laughs> burning out the just motor. Just like ripping, <laughs> ripping. Well, they so sent a motor out. Because right of that, they added torque arms to the front um, the front motor now. So you don't have to worry about that happening. So we're good. So you've had this version 2 for two years? Version? Yeah, I don't even, yeah, it's been a while. I've had it for a while. Or last year. I think this one has one year and the other one was like a year. Yep. Yeah, so his discount link is in the video description for the Arrow Rider Grizzly as well. Do you guys want to see anything else like behind me? Ben Anderson said would look better in blue. They have a blue one now. What's that? The Grizzly? Yeah. They have blue, they have blue yellow, yellow, they have red. You can have a you can start a whole Power Rangers um, e bike group with all the different colors. <laughs> I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit just so you guys can see other bikes behind there. Um, King Louie, these the bike companies up. reach out to him. He said what? He asked if you reach out to the bike companies, if they reach out to you. He said they reach out to you. Yep, so they, they see my reviews and then they reach out to me. Usually every time like a review comes out, I have like 30 e-bike companies will reach out to me. The and y it's crazy to think that there are that many e-bike companies out there, which is insane. The Y said, I'm um, still waiting on my purple Surons. So, um, Shreddy also has a Suron discount link and $50 off. 50 bucks off. Link at yep. Built e-bikes for the Surons, and they have all different colored Surons at Built e-bikes as well. This is my Suron. Like I said, the 60 amp hour. 60 volt Gladiator battery in there. Then I got the BAC 4000. I've hit 60 something miles an hour on, on this one. I've seen Marv hit almost 70 on the same setup. So this thing can rip for sure. And it's, it's awesome having all these cool bikes. There, there's a Huck Stinger if you guys are interested in that. Use code SHREDMIXGATE. I think it's like 300 bucks off. The Y said, hey Shreddy from Maine. What's up in Maine? What's going on? Chris Sinclair, 25 is 15. Oh yeah, the 25 miles an hour. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Are you guys looking at my mainscape um, area? They said it's, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, earlier in the chat, they said it's 50 miles an hour, but you just have to get it unlocked from the company and then it goes faster. And Shreddy's gonna be testing out on his first ride and review video coming soon. Yep, so that's what's been going on with, let's see, what, what bikes come locked now? Uh, the ride one up, so you gotta reach out to them and get them to send you an unlock code. And also any bike from Electric Bike Company, they'll send it to you at 20 miles an hour. Um, reach out to them, they'll send you an unlock code. I think uh, with Electric Bike Company, you actually have to send them your serial, the serial number on the back of the display. So I don't know if like, it's a different code for everyone. So like if I were to share the code with you, it probably won't work. So and you're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Riley Gilbert said, I had my Aero Rider X class for 1,500 miles and never anything wrong. Great yeah. bikes from Aero Rider. Any, any up upgrades or updates that you did on it? Great or bikes. do you have any plans on upgrading or updating it, uh, extra speed or anything? I forgot, I still got to do an, an install with this. This is the ride, ride one up uh, little center rack. I do have a ride one up. Uh, Link down there if you guys are interested in the Rod 1 Up Rev 1. We'll have more videos coming out very soon with this bike. Very, very soon. Don Suron's Joyce coming said, back. I worked on the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and in Space Tears years ago. What, really? That's awesome. I used to love the Power Rangers, but it was like back, back in the days, like the OG, OG Rangers. Actually, the OG Rangers that just came back out recently, if it's out yet, I'm, I'm not sure. If it is, I want to watch that new Power Rangers movie they got. He said, I built the 3D Power Rangers and 3D Jet Jammers on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. No freaking way. That's awesome. That was probably so much fun. Where, where did I put my water? I don't know where. Kona Rider. I have two Ride 1 Ups. Great bikes. They are. They are. They're very nice. If you guys are interested in the Rev 1 by Ride 1 Up, which is right here behind the serve round, same color, check out that link down below um, if you guys are interested in that bike. There's no discount link for uh, Arrow or for uh, Ride One Up. No discount code. There no discount code, just the link, just the link. 
Did you guys see where I put my water? My wooter? Uh, he said guys. it was back in 97. King, oh. King Louis said, what is your favorite bike so far? Didn't tell me that. Man, they are all fun. They're all a lot of fun, depending on the style of riding you want to do. Sometimes I take this thing out in the sand dunes where a lot of these bikes can't go. Um, sometimes I take actually the Suron out in the sand dunes, but for some reason, <laughs> this the, the Grizzly was a lot more fun in the sand dunes, more than the Suron, which is crazy. What's so funny, DD? I'm laughing because Chronicles of Tulare was like, your water's in the cup holder. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I forgot he put it there. <laughs> and everyone's like, you put it on the Grizzly. <laughs> Dude, you guys see me like looking around the whole time, like still talking. I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Eric Steely shredding. What's up, Steely? He was actually here recently. He tried to uh, ride one up and he loved it. They're actually building some kind of like circle thing and they have like all this dirt around us. So we were, uh, what is the circle thing called? A roundabout. <laughs> a roundabout. So we were playing on the hills there with the ride one up and the, and the, um, the Super 73 RX. <laughs> Even Kona's like, your water's on the bike. Um, Thank you, guys. Riley Gilbert said, I upgraded to an Onyx RCR. Nice, nice. Did you guys actually see the Onyx uh, interview I had with the founder and creator of Onyx? Last week. With Tim Sewer. That was such a good good interview. A lot of people actually have been reaching out and telling me that was a that was a fun interview to watch. Just like the, listen to the, like the life story and just how you got started with it. Like even... Though there wasn't super crazy juicy content, there was a little bit of juiciness going on in there, but it was definitely a good interview and a lot of fun and so cool to learn about Tim Seward and, and his journey in life. Uh, Learning said, out of all the companies you review, which company do you recommend that has the best customer support? Man, I want to say, actually, shoot. Spark Cycle Works, uh, the Spark Bandit. I've, had, I've heard nothing but good things from all of the followers that actually reached out and have, have had any kind of conversations with them. Also, um, Aerial Rider, I haven't heard much, anything bad about their customer service. They usually, anything happens, they'll send you the part out and it usually gets there pretty quick. Their bikes but are built with Spark, great quality too. Spark Cycle Works, for me, they've definitely been one of the best you from what I've heard. Do you have a Spark Bandit out here? It's actually inside the house and it'll take me a while to get it out here. The Bandit is definitely a lot longer than these. And, Almost on par with like the looks of both of these bikes too. So, but if you guys are interested in the uh, Spark Bandit, check out uh, search Shreddy McSkate and Spark Bandit review, and check out the review on there, and you'll see my Spark Bandit. Use code Shreddy to get a hundred bucks. I think it's like a hundred or two hundred off the order right now. Also, Wicked Thumb. Wicked Thumb. That's, That's actually great. inside That's the house service. too. The Wicked Thumb's inside the house. We'll be getting a new Wicked Thumb here soon. I think there's a sidecar coming, and then uh, twenty-inch tires coming on their newer bikes, 52 volt. So that's pretty exciting. Don McCoy said, I built a custom Aero Rider X 52 volt X class. Nice, have you seen a uh, White Mike's X class? On my channel, I think he has a 72 volt and he was, he's been trying to sell it, but he hasn't been able to sell it. So I think he's just gonna keep it um, and let friends ride that whenever he has like group rides and they need an extra bike, which is pretty cool. So whenever I go visit there and I don't have a bike, you'll probably be seeing that X-Class 72 volt on the channel again, me riding it the whole time. Lee Marshall, do you use Tannis liners? No, actually, I don't. I, don't I, I, I used to use liners on the Super, but I could always feel like the weight in there. So I took them out. Um, what, what did I use? What did I say? The Tuffy liners, they were called. But the Tannis armor, no, I've never used that before because normally I like to carry... Uh, this is more of the high speed formula for armadillos, but this is what I carry in my book bed all the time. So if I do get any kind of hole, stuff this in there, as long as it's not like sliced, that should save you. And I actually got a little hole in the front of my Super 73 RX. I put like this much in there and okay. it actually sealed it up pretty well. It's like not much at all, but this stuff is really good. This is the higher speed uh, formula for like the Armadillas. higher speed bikes. Yeah, they got the red and blue. I always go with the blue since it's the toughest you can get, but Armadillas. I, I'm not sure if there's a uh, code for there. It might be like Shreddy 73 or something. I, I can't remember what it was. Shred 73 or something, but Chron Armadillas, good stuff. Chronicles of Solaris said the Spark Cycle Works Z is dead bike looks sick. Shreddy could rock that one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that's her new one? That's a one with the freaking yeah. like 
crazy motorcycle and it has like a foot brake like it, it looks awesome that's kind of how the wicked thumb bikes look too i mean yeah. similar they, they similar. have ape hangers you know you can you can uh upgrade the ape hangers if you want to do that discount codes and links for both those bikes in the video description yep uh, ben anderson have you seen these recumbent e-bikes <sighs> actually bomber marv has a recumbent uh e-bike and i think excuse me his goes like 45 or 50 miles an hour so Excuse me. I'm hoping we're going to be doing a lot of group rides with Bomber Marv, and he brings all his crazy awesome builds. I'm, I'm excited to see his crazy recumbent bike. And I told him he should build one that's like a dual motor and with like nice freaking knobby tires, and we'll take it out to sand dunes. How awesome would that be? That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of e bike riding, Eric Tilly said, tell him about the rain riding we did. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we we decided to take uh, the 73 and the ride one up to, um, what is it? Grotto. Grotto Pizza, and not too far. And we were like, I think we can make it. We, we, we chanced it. We are like, yeah, like we, we, we could do it. Like, we can see it was like a bad storm. Like, it was red on the freaking radars. We are like, yeah, we could do it. So we were waiting for the pizza. I'm like, man, this is taking forever. All of a sudden, like, I started feeling raindrops. I'm like, yo, we got to go. Like, I called D. I'm like, D, pick up the pizza. And like, we're, we're like rushing home. It starts raining, but as soon as we get like in, like home, it starts pouring. But we did get pretty soaked. Luckily, luckily we're we're good. And actually, when we were turning into the neighborhood, those uh, this is actually a good uh, thing to remember. Those those painted lines on the on the ground. I was turning and I felt the back sliding out, and I almost ate it. So, if you guys are riding in the rain with with e bikes and you see those painted lines or just painted whatever slow or whatever. Slow down around there. Be careful when you're making turns on there because holy crap, it got slippery. Oh, yeah, I almost, I almost fell at the front of the neighborhood. How funny would that be? Oh. <laughs> All right, so we also have a question. Um, oh, Don McCoy said, I have four batteries, 52 volt total on 92 and a half amp hours. Wow, that's a lot of range there, bro. <laughs> that's awesome. I have the same battery on the bike you just built, 52 volt, 32.5 This one? This, this, this battery? He said 52 volt. Oh, 52 volt. Yeah, this is 48 volt. Well, the 52 volt's on the Aero Rider, right? What's this? Hold on. Is that the sticker? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a cover for, like, the, the paint, but the sticker. Sorry. <laughs> Sal McCoy said, I ride distance. Yeah, and that's why it's good to have, what, the dual battery um bikes because they're long range like more battery more rider. fun that's what i that's what i think i thought that the second battery was going to be under here too like the grizzly i didn't know it was going to be like a tank on the top like that oh can you show us where the grizzly batteries are so the battery on the grizzly would be like on the down tube and in the back so the grizzly if i were to have the batteries I'd have one right here, and then one slides in the back right here. This is the mount for it. Oh, that's right. The batteries weren't on. Yeah. But at least you could see the mounts. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. That was, that was a lot of fun. I can't believe uh, we got past that problem. I thought it was going to be a struggle that we couldn't get past. And again, you guys got me past it, like, like always. When it's a struggle with Shreddy, it's always good to have you guys here helping me out. Everybody that stuck around, helped out, talked to each other in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining. Shredhead members, love you guys. If you, got, if you guys want to become a Shredhead mem member, help support the channel. All that money going to the Shredhead members. Uh, it's going to go towards a transit van for a DDNI. Um, check out that link down below. Click on that. It's uh, five bucks a month. Let us know if you want us to add more tiers, more special things, maybe like a members only live streams like this. Um, just let me know if you want to add more tiers on there. If you want to join that membership, click on there, five bucks, gets you a little shred head uh, next to your name, highlights your name in green when you're in the chat. Um, Early access yeah. videos. And as always, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. Check out that link down below for the Frigo F3 Pro. Use code Shreddy. Get $100 off your order. Check out that link down for Arrow Rider. Get the Grizzly. I think it's like 50 bucks when you click on that link. There's no codes. Saran. There is a link down for 50 bucks off the Saran for built e-bikes. Chai Gladiator battery. Check them out. Chai battery systems. Use code Shreddy 5% off of anything over there. 
Green Line Engineering controller. They have an awesome app. This, this my Sauron goes in reverse. It has reverse, drive, park, neutral, all that stuff. So check out Green Line Engineering. Use code SHREDDY. Get 5% off your order for anything over there. BAC 8,000, 4,000 for your um, Sauron, your Talaria, um, anything. If you guys are looking for anything, always just send me a message out too. Any more questions before we go? Bye-bye. We're going to be coming back on probably Sunday. I got another bike to unbox and show you guys. Everyone's just saying great live stream. Thank you always guys. Always nice to see Bleeding with Shreddy. <laughs> Bleeding with Shreddy, definitely. Uh, luckily, it takes I'm a coming. village to build an e-bike. It, 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 it takes all you guys to build an e-bike, <laughs> not, not me. I'm just here. like I'm like a robot, like an AI, and you guys, you guys are controlling me, <laughs> right? So, um, and also guys, so you guys do want to see how many percent wanted to see the live stream of me showing you guys like all the accessories I like, my, my camera. 78%. Waves. Okay. So 22% we'll, said no, bro. No, nah, bro. Okay. <laughs> you don't care about my camera equipment or accessories, but we might do that soon. So anyways, we'll see you guys on Sunday. We're going to be unbo unboxing the first like 10 speed spandex bike on the channel. <laughs> they said reverse wheelie your sir on. Oh man, uh, I, I would love to turn it on right now, but it's such a small space. I'll just I'll just click it on so you can see the the lights. There you go. I can actually change the color. I don't know where the remote went to change the colors on there. So <laughs> that's it. And uh, again, always if you guys do you want to support the channel again, check out that that link down below for the Manscaped. Use code Shreddy get twenty percent off your order. Keep yourself nice and trimmed up down there. No chafing, no irritation. Manscaped 4.0, the lawnmower. Check your nuts on your bike and Always your body. Always check your nuts. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's it. We're done. Did Didi, anything? Guys, I love you guys. As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. I'll see you guys on Sunday night. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Love you guys.